my name is Sarah. In my last video, I did mention a couple of things, or I showed you how to actually apply foundation or concealer, sorry, using a brush. So I've just finished doing that. Um, obviously, at the moment, we're not going out as much, um, and you know, obviously, may not be wearing quite as much makeup. So I wanted to run through a couple of tips that I use for my day-to-day -day makeup. So I've got my brush. One thing that I do, particularly if I'm not wearing much foundation, is I actually pop a little bit of concealer just around the corners of my nose, because we often get a little bit red around that area, particularly in winter if we've got any respiratory issues, um, allergies, that kind of thing. So I just find that evens out the skin tone quite a lot. And then from there, the next thing I do, obviously after I've applied all my moisturizer and that kind of thing, is I will apply a BB cream. So I will apply that all around my face with a brush. So I love using a brush for my BB cream personally. So the next one that I'm gonna be using, I'm actually gonna be getting onto the Arbonne BB Cream shortly. I've had that in the past, I don't have any right now. But I will apply that all over my face, concentrating on the center of my face. I love the Arbonne BB Creams because they've got a beautiful finish on them. Um, they've got a pollution defense one, which I love. Great for fighting free radicals, which we get a lot of during the day. Brush that on. Once again, I love using a brush because it means my fingers don't suck up, suck up a whole heap of product because obviously a lot of these products are designed to absorb and sit fairly well on your skin. So if you apply them with fingers, you can actually end up using a lot more product than maybe what you need to. And from there, I will grab a light dusting of powder. One of the powders I'm loving as well is the Arbonne Translucent Powder. Just use a nice fluffy brush with that one. Brush it all over your face, nice light dusting. You'll usually find you don't need a whole lot. So just a light dusting around the face. And then from there, I've got my palette. Now this palette is actually one that I've made up myself. So I've just used an Inglot palette, but I know you can get them from, so Arbonne has them. Um, it's just a little magnetic palette and I've got a mix of my Arbonne eyeshadows and the like here. So I'm really loving these at the moment. So once again, I've got the Arbonne powder cake bronzer here. So I'll just brush that on little bit on the cheeks. Now I love making up my own palettes like this because it means I can get everything I like into one palette because sometimes you might want to adjust what you're using on a day-to-day -day basis. You might have a special occasion palette or if you're like me you just have most things in the one palette. One slight annoying thing sometimes they do fall out a little bit but most of the time you can actually take things out of the big palettes that they come in and put them in something like this so you've got all the colours you use all in one. So day to day makeup, next thing I'll do, just a little bit of eyeshadow type powder on a thick eyeliner brush and I just brush that onto my eyebrows. So if you're anything like me at the moment, you haven't been able to get your eyebrows tinted. So I'm finding a little bit of powder just works great to give me a bit of definition around the face. So this works even though at the moment we maybe haven't been able to get beauty services. This is something you can do every day. So if you haven't been able to get down because you're traveling or something like that, this can work brilliantly with that. And I've just previously used my bronzer brush to actually pop a little bit of bronzer just on my eyelids there like so. Quick and easy, gives you a little bit of color on the eyelids and then I follow that up with just a little thinner eyeliner brush and I just use that to actually line my eyes. I find this is a little bit softer. If I'm not going out anywhere during the day and that kind of thing, I don't need heavy eyeliner. I find this is a little bit softer.
And then if I want, I can just smudge that out with my fingers. And lucky last thing for my quick makeup at the moment. One thing I love doing, curling my eyelashes. Gives them a little bit of definition again. Squeeze there with the eyelash curler and then some mascara. I don't know why, but we always seem to hold our mouths open when we apply mascara. I'm every little bit like everyone else in that regard. I like to do top and bottom lashes, gives a little bit of definition to the eyes. And then I finish off with a little bit of lipstick or gloss. So once again, I find it gives me a much longer lasting finish if I use a brush. So once again, Arbonne's got some great long lasting lipsticks. Even though lipstick traditionally doesn't last all that long, I find I do get a longer wear if I do apply it with a brush, particularly first thing in the morning when I'm just doing my makeup, apply with a brush and it gives me a much longer lasting finish even with the same lipstick. So that's a version of a quick couple of minute makeup routine that you can do. Now you can see I look like I'm I do have makeup on, so you can use this to go out, do whatever you need if you're used to a light makeup. Obviously, there's other tips and tricks you can use if you need something a little bit heavier or if you need something a bit more glamorous.